Hello guys, Rob here. In this one I want to talk about a novel approach to combating the CPU congestion on EOS that we have seen with the IDOS token mining. But before we get into that, let's talk about IDOS, the coin, the mining airdrop that started it all. Now, why this is even a thing is because IDOS currently has value on the exchanges. Though it has fallen and continues to fall here, we saw on the first couple days here all the way up at point, almost 0 0.06. Now we're down at 0 0.002 and it's been a steady drop here. So as IDOS price continues to drop, there's less and less incentive for accounts to mine this token. And there will continue to be sell side pressure from those accounts mining the token, as well as the IDOS team. If we look at the IDOS team account here, every single day, let me go to send token. Every single day, the IDOS team sells 50,000 IDOS. They, every day, 50. 16th, 15th, 14th, 13th, so on. Every single day, they send 50,000 IDOS to the Crypto Staker account. And on the Crypto Staker account, you can see no tokens owned because they sell them all. If we look at their actions here, send token to WhaleX. And then they send the EOS back to the IDOS team account. Send token to Nudex. And then they send those EOS back to the IDOS team account. Send token to WhaleX. So every single day, the, there's an extra 50,000 IDOS sell-side pressure from the IDOS team, just continually, like clockwork, selling 50,000. Now, when this project first came out, there was a big value to the token, and so people rushed into Rex and borrowed Rex resources to mine the token. Each Rex loan is good for a month, so about two weeks ago, 52 million plus EOS worth of Rex were rented. Next day, 15 million plus EOS worth of Rex were rented. And this all happened. People were renting the EOS from Rex back in the beginning when the price of IDOS was high. So right now, those, those accounts that have rented from Rex still have just as much incentive to mine the token because they already have the resources. So if you already paid for the resources, you're going to milk those resources for as much as you can. It's just like a traditional proof of work blockchain. In proof of work blockchains, when mining becomes unprofitable, we see machines turn off. Now, there are still those people that mine at a loss, but a lot of people turn off their machines and stop mining. What we see here with EOS and the, the EOS that were rented from Rex, the people that rented these EOS, this is like in a proof of work blockchain prepaying the month's electricity. So just to compare this to a true traditional proof of work mining, these people who at the beginning of November rented resources from Rex, they prepaid the electricity for their mining machines. So of course they're going to continue to mine throughout the month for as long as they have these Rex resources because they already paid the cost of the machines running or in this case they already paid the cost of the resources rented through Rex so they're gonna use those resources for another 13 days 13 14 days until those resources expire so in 13 14 days when there's almost 70 million worth of Rex resources expiring what's gonna happen well all those people rented when the price was up here now the price is down here, so there's going to be a lot less incentive for people to rent EOS from Rex, quite simply because the price has dropped and continues to drop here. So this crazy CPU congestion we've seen from the IDOS token mining, I don't think is going to last. Yes, it will continue until another 13, 14 days until these Rex loans expire, but there's going to be a lot less incentive I'm not quite sure what the break-even point is when it comes to renting Rex versus IDOS token price to actually turn a profit, but there's going to be a lot less incentive than there was at 0 0.06, 0 0.05, 0 0.04, 0 0.03, anywhere here in the early days. A lot less incentive with the price down here and with the price continuing to drop. 
So even if people do continue to mine Eidos, I don't think there's going to be this shortage of Rex liquidity out there after these loans expire. And if there is going to be CPU congestion, I, it'll be, I think it'll be a fraction of what we see now. And speaking of the CPU congestion, keep in mind, with what we're seeing now, this does not mean that CPU usage is at 100%. Congestion mode kicks in long before we get anywhere close to 100%. Right now, even during this congestion, CPU is running at 18% here, according to the EOS Live mainnet usage from EOS Authority. 18, 19%. So we're nowhere near maxed out on CPU usage uh, by any means. But you can see the high scaling number because we are in congestion mode. So that's my little rant on IDOS. I, even if nothing were to change, no quote-unquote fixes for IDOS mining were put in place. I think things would continue to get better and better here. Just, just with the drop in price in IDOS, there's going to be less and less incentive for, for people to mine this. And even more, less and less incentive for people to actually pay for resources through Rex to mine the token. Alright, so now let's get on to... A great approach here. This article was written from Tal from Liquid, the uh, Liquid Apps team. And the title here, Ears EOS Community Immune System Bursting the CPU Bubble. An immune system for the EOS resource market that uses proof of rest. This immune system will have its own token, which will compensate users for not using their available CPU, a proof of rest. A user will be provided an immunity token if it proves that it had the option of wasting CPU, but it chose not to do so. In other words, the user will be rewarded for its idle CPU. So basically, what this whole article is, and the idea behind this, I'll leave a link to this in the description, but it's an anti-IDOS. Right now with IDOS mining, if a user has leftover CPU they are not using, they can mine IDOS with that basically wasting their resources to get a token back that has an EOS value right now. With this immune system token, if you could mine, or if you could send 100, 1,000, 10 transactions a day, and you don't, you would be rewarded for that. So with IDOS mining, if you have extra CPU to use, you can use it to mine IDOS, which provides personal value to you. You are personally getting rewarded for those actions. But with this immune system token, or what I like to call the anti-IDOS token, if you do not use resources that are otherwise reserved for you, you are providing value to the network by not wasting resources, and with the immune system token, you would be rewarded for that. So with IDOS, you can spend your CPU to personally benefit. And with the immune system token, you could not spend those resources, which right now there's no personal benefit from. You are just benefiting the network by not wasting resources. But with the immune system token, you would now start receiving a reward for providing value to the network by not wasting those resources. Now, it's not clear how this immune system token would get its value or how it would be funded. Uh, but they do leave a little hint here. By the way, EOSIO Savings seems to be growing nicely. And if we do look at EOSIO Savings, almost 23 million EOS in EOSIO Savings account uh, just sitting there right now. The Immunity System token or the Anti-IDOS token, the Non-Wasting Resources token, would be a good use case for these EOSIO Savings funds. Not all of them, but, you know, a certain percentage a year or whatever going to the immunity system token. And I also like this idea from the terms of dApps paying for users' resources. So that's hopefully where everything's headed. And this whole IDOS fiasco has got a lot more dApps on board paying for users' resources. But what happens when a dApp that is paying for users' resources sees a crease in usage? You know, they could unstake some of those EOS that they have staked for paying for resources. But with the immunity system token, they would be incentivized to keep those EOS staked and just have them be idle because they would be receiving a reward in the form of the immunity system token. So lots of benefits to this. 
But yeah, again, link to this in the description if you want to read more of it. I feel like I've ranted on here for a while. Um, and I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts down in the comments below. But other than that, that's going to do it for this one. If you have not checked out Telos yet, check out the link in the description. Telos Rex is currently paying out over 20% thanks to the Telos Economic Development Plan supplying an extra 1 million TLOS per month to Rex stakers while running the chain at 0% inflation. If you have a Genesis EOS account and you have not claimed your Telos yet, the one year mark is upcoming in which those who have not claimed yet could lose access to their funds. I'll be doing a video on this upcoming. This message on Telos is brought to you with the support of the Telos community via the worker proposal system. But that's going to do it for me for this one, guys. I will see you in the next one.